What's up guys? Today I wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how I edit some of my photos. Um, keep in mind that this is the way that I decided to edit this photo. Um, there's a whole wide world of creativity out there, so make sure you guys do things the way that you uh, can express your creativity freely. Don't ever try to copy somebody's work or, uh, you know, definitely use their work to inspire you and have inspiration, but, you know, don't, don't copy them. Uh, just create the photo and uh, develop a style that you know, you'll be known for, and uh, you'll, that's how you'll get noticed. You know, don't copy people's work, just basically uh, do your own thing. I wanted to show you guys how I create some of my images. Um, I'm gonna start with this one, uh, basically because it's pretty simple, and a lot of you guys asked about it. So, this photo is taken on a GoPro. Um, it has a awesome sunset in the back, and basically you have me right here in the foreground, which is obviously uh, not lit very well. And we, we wanna change that. We wanna basically kind of brighten this area up of the photo. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a mask. Um, photos are made up of three different parts when it comes to brightness. Um, they're made up of your midtones, your shadows, and your highlights. So the GoPro automatically took this photo and it was exposed for the background, which is uh, great for the background, but again, we have this foreground that needs to be lit up. So we're gonna use this uh, tool called Curves Adjustments. And basically this is an adjustment on uh, most photo editing apps, Photoshop, you know, you, even on your simple iPhone edit, you know, you basically can adjust the photo by midtones, shadows, and highlights. So you have your shadows down here, which are the blacks. You have your midtones, which are right here in the middle, and you have your highlights, which are all the way at the top. So to basically brighten this photo up, we're going to just simply pull the middle up right here, and we're going to basically pull it up to where I start to look, uh, you know exposed and lit and the fish is good the grass looks good right here now obviously as we did that it applied the effect to the whole photo we don't want that so this is uh, how a mask works um, it automatically applied this effect to a mask for us so what we need to do is we need to invert this mask because uh, basically what a mask is is it can be applied to the whole image or it can be applied just to like a certain spot of the image. We just want to apply it to a, a couple of different spots. So how we do that is we're going to invert it. We're going to press command I and what that does is the mask is still there. Like this is the, I'm sorry, the effect is still there, but the mask is black. So we need to basically put some white on this mask in order to bring. So if we basically just do a real quick circle right here, just to show you guys what, what's going to happen. This is going to be a hard punch circle. So basically this mask right here is only affecting this area. And as you guys can see on the mask, there's a little circle right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this part of the image from here to here to here to here and just apply the effect to here. Because we want to leave all the detail in the clouds because the clouds are going to make the photo look pop, pop in the background. Plus we got a lot of good color in there that we're going to bring out in a second. So I hope I'm kind of keeping you guys, or I hope you guys understand what a mask is. Um, if not, you guys probably should look up a little bit more of a tutorial on what a mask is and how it works. Um, this is the best way that I can explain it. But uh, again, we're going to basically just paint away where we want the effect to be applied. And I'm gonna change the hardness of my brush because I don't like that sharp line right there. So we're gonna go to like a soft brush probably around 30%. And as we paint with this brush now, what's gonna happen is it's gonna bleed a little bit. As you guys can see, it's not so harsh now, so we don't have such a uh, straight edge on what we're using. So basically, we're gonna paint everywhere besides the sky. So I'm just gonna kinda start going through here, painting everything that is uh, we want brightened. So we're gonna go to these houses back here in the back and just kinda click, click, tap, click, click, tap. You know, don't don't go too high into the sky. Um, this does take a little bit of time outlining 
Um, things like a bamboo tablet will definitely help. And say for instance, like right here, if I go too high, like I, I got rid of too much of the sky, all you gotta do is hit X on your keyboard and what that does is it changes your, uh, your brush color. So if you go back to black, it's going to just paint the mask back because the mask is originally black. So we're using black now. We're just gonna paint back over where we messed up. So now I'm switching back to white. Again, I'm just hitting X on the keyboard. I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna get real kind of uh, precise with my mask. This is one of the parts that takes a little bit of time. Um, I've been messing around with Photoshop for over 10 years now, so I have a lot of experience and I can uh, do this a little bit quicker than you, but you know, take your time. Um, speed is not the, the goal here to get it done quick. Um, it really is a uh, take your time kind of thing. And uh, the more detail that you spend, or the more time that you spend putting detail into the image, the better the image is going to look in the long run. So totally up to you. Um, make sure you guys save your work as you're going. Uh, the worst thing in the world is having your computer crash after you've spent 30 minutes on one photo and uh, the computer crashes. So make sure you guys have your auto save feature on or at least um, you're going to save every so many every so many minutes every so often. Sorry, I can't talk and work at the same time apparently. So we're going to kind of just uh, feather that out right there. Um, I know it's not perfect, but I'm actually just going to take a I'm going to lower my opacity down to like 10% and then I'm going to just do a quick punch like right here just just in the center of the photo and kind of bleed out and that kind of gives me like a, a glow and that way it just kind of fades everything real well so already right now we have a much better image than what we started with this is what we started with and this is what we ended up with and as you can see the mask Kind of, you know, you can see it right here. It goes from do 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 do. Sorry, I hope you guys like that sound effect. And down here, you can see the mask where it, where it applied the effect to it. All the white down here is where the effect got applied, and the top part is where it did not get applied. So we got a pretty good image so far. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both these layers and I'm going to hit Command J. Uh, all you do is to select more than one layer is you click on one layer, you shift click another layer. And what I did is I hit Command J and that doubled it. I'm going to hit Command E and that merged it. So basically now we have just one image. Like we're just working with one image now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another new curves adjustment. And at this time I want to darken it. I want to make everything just a little, I want to give everything just a little bit more contrast, uh, especially the clouds in the background. And we're going to do the opposite of the mask. So as I'm bringing this down, you guys can see the clouds are starting to pop. They're starting to look real, real good compared to what they first looked like. Like you can see there's just more detail in them. So now we're going to go to this mask and we're going to go to black as our brush. We're going to go to our brush tool. We're going to make sure black's in the foreground again. If, if you have either opposite of these colors mixed up, just hit X on your keyboard. And that is going to bring the opposite color uh, that you're using for your brush. So we're going to paint a mask right here because we don't want the effect to take away right here because this is the most obviously centered detail. So we don't want to darken here where we already brightened up. So now it just basically darkened the clouds behind us. All right, so the next thing that we can do uh, is we can go to the half circle down here and there's different effects that you can apply. Uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of these. I'm just going to go to selective color. And I'm going to go to the reds, which the reds automatically pops up. These are the, all the channels of the photo that you can kind of play with. And I'm just going to start playing around with uh, you know, how I want the clouds to look. If I want if I want the reds to be more red, uh, basically which is what I did. I'm going to max those all out and you can play with the uh, you know, diff these different sliders. They're going to make things look either more red or more pink or whatever and basically all I'm doing is grabbing the the one hue for the cloud. So now we have this hue saturation or a selective I'm sorry now we have this selective color which I'm gonna name this one 
just so we don't get confused. Let's see, we'll go right click. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just going to do this so you guys can understand. Where's rename layer? Oh. Okay, here we go. We're going to call this reds. So these are the reds of the photo that I want to keep. So again, with the mask, without the mask, with the mask, without the mask, we want to mask this part of the photo because we don't want the fish being affected really or my, my skin tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the reds layer and I'm just going to start masking again where my face was. And what that's doing is it's getting rid of, I'm already red enough as it is so I don't want to be any redder. Um, it's going to get rid of all the red and just just where I'm you know just where I'm pumping just where I'm clicking at it's going to get rid of all the red at but obviously the sky is still staying red so that's that's what we want we don't want the whole photo to be red we just want the sky to be red all right so now the next part would be to do the blues of the photo which are over here on this side so how we do that again is we go to select color now we're going to drop this down to the blues or cyans and I forget which one it was this one kind of barely did it uh, did a lot but um, if you, as you can see it's kind of endless to your possibilities and what what color you want um, we're gonna name this one blue so I'm actually gonna go to the blues here too and just kind of see what I can get to kind of come out which that kind of looks good that looks better it looks more cotton candy and yeah, so I like that. So basically now this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like after. We pushed the blues out a little bit. And now we're going to just, uh, well, we didn't really affect any blues anywhere else in the photo because your skin tones are red. So uh, blues are only going to be, you know, here and here in the sky. And uh, that's basically how to mask uh, certain colors, you know, on, on a photo. Um, uh, or, uh, you know, mask highlights on a photo. Uh, I'm not sure if this helped you guys out at all or not, but uh, hopefully it did. Um, I appreciate you guys asking questions. I'll, I'll do my, I'll do better on trying to explain certain things if you guys message me or leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm not going to show you everything that I do to the photos because some of those things are just, uh, you know, my look. And again, when it comes to uh, creating a look, for yourself you kind of want to be known for that so i'm gonna basically leave it at that but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video obviously the last thing to do would be like add your signature or something add your little logo and then boom you have an awesome photo to post on the gram thank you guys for watching Till next time, Thailand.